Oh. Hey guys. Um, I have a bit of a story time for you. I guess I'll just start from the top. Alright, so today is July 4th when I'm filming this. And it's probably close to 2 p.m. now. I woke up super early this morning. Was planning on taking the boat out. But Elo, my dog, started having some issues. He just wasn't acting like he felt very good. And that was going on a little bit yesterday too. Two days ago, he swallowed a chicken bone. Like the legs, like a chicken wing. And it was cooked. He swallowed it whole pretty much because I was trying to get it from him. He hadn't had any problems really until yesterday. He started feeling like really lethargic and just, yeah, I could tell he didn't feel good at all. He was just like laying underneath stuff. I'm like, okay, well, it's probably the chicken wing, so I need to go get him checked out. So sure enough, this morning he was acting like he didn't feel good. So we went to the vet to get him an x-ray. So July 4th morning, first thing in the morning, I go to the vet with Elo. When I get there, they run some tests, they gave him some medicine, they did the x-ray and gave him some barium, which is supposed to show up on the x-ray. So the, the vet said everything looks pretty good, we're gonna send him home with you and if, if he does throw up though, you need to come right back here immediately and we need to do another x-ray and see what's going on. Because if he throws up that um, barium, it could be a, like a blockage and yeah, that's serious. So, as soon as we get home, Elo throws up. And so I immediately called the vet back and he said, oh no, you need to bring him back in. That's not a good sign. Ended up going back to the vet and they did another x-ray and some blood work this time. And the blood work came back great. Um, the x-ray showed nothing abnormal again. The vet just said, if things don't get better by the morning, um, then you need to bring him back in first thing in the morning but we're gonna let his stomach settle and stuff from the medicine and just hope that whatever is causing this, cause we couldn't find the chicken bone in his stomach. So we're just hoping that it didn't like cause any damage on its way out. Um, so yeah, Elo's doing a lot better. He's here at the house, come back from the vet for the second time. And um, Elo's been eating a little bit. He's just been sleeping. He's really like kind of feels crummy, but he's groggy and I think he's gonna be okay. So I'm in the living room with Elo, probably around like 1 o'clock at this point. Uh, Frankie, my cat, as you guys know, was sitting in the living room on the chair and he had his foot kind of like propped up a little weird and he was licking it and I remembered about, I don't even know, maybe like two nights ago, he was, he loves to go outside in the middle of the night. Like he, he demands that he goes outside at nighttime because he likes to either chase females or get into cat fights. Yes. So, the other night, uh, he woke me up around 3 a.m. I heard this like outside my window. And I looked out there and there was this cat, crazy looking cat. The thing was like. <laughs> Frankie just got into a cat fight. So, I went out there and I was like looking to make sure he was okay. I didn't see him anywhere. So anyways, I tried to go back to sleep at like 3 a.m. And I heard a little scratching on the door. So I opened it and it was Frankie and he came on in. So I kind of just figured, okay, he's all right at least. He came back in. And I hadn't really noticed anything until yesterday, day before today, which is July 4th. So on the 3rd, he started kind of limping a little bit and wasn't putting a lot of pressure on his paw. I was thinking, oh, he maybe if he did fall off, like he probably hurt his foot. So that's why today when I saw him licking it, I was like, okay, well maybe I should go and see what it looks like. Let me tell you guys, I looked at his foot and I immediately knew that I was going to have to go back to the vet for the third time on July 4th. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I look at it and it was like really swollen and it had a pretty big gash on it like on you know the little pads like it was on his little pinky pad and it was a big like maybe like an inch gash call the vet and I'm like hey you won't believe this um, <laughs> you won't believe this but my cat now needs to come in what what can we do for Frankie so he says no problem bring him in I can give him some sedation and we will either suture him up or 
um, wash it out and give him some antibi antibiotics and stuff like that, no problem. So I'm like, okay, put Frankie in the carrier, head back to the vet for the third time today. Third time. So I get up there, take Frankie in, and he's like, all right, no problem. Um, I'll give you a call back around 4.30 and you can come and pick him up and it'll be fine. So I leave and on the way home, the doctor calls me again and he's like, hey, by the way, um, would you want me to possibly go ahead and neuter Frankie while he's here? He's going to be sedated. It would be the perfect opportunity. And um, because I tried to get him neutered before and I decided not to because I thought it would change his personality. But honestly, I think his little nuggets are causing him more trouble than good at this point. Um, he's He's not even like as funky as he used to be. He like gets... All he wants to do is go outside and like either fight or get with girls so. so I was like you know what yeah I think this is a great opportunity to go ahead and cut his little nuggets off two balls with one scalpel so I'm like okay yeah let's do that let's let's get his foot taken care of let's get the let's get the nuts gone let's do it all let's just get this July 4th cracking y'all so I was like you know what I'm just gonna hang out with Elo chill watch some TV maybe take a nap because I got to go pick up Frankie later the phone rings. It's the doctor. He's like, hey, um, so I'm looking at Frankie's foot right now and it is looking really bad. Like, it's pretty bad. It's all the way down to the bone. So he's like, we have two options. We can try to save it. We can, I, we can keep flushing it out and, um, you know, do antibiotics orally afterwards, wrap it up, all that stuff, try to save the toe. Or, you can give me the okay and we can go ahead and cut his toe off. <laughs> so I had to make the decision just, just a few minutes ago. Like, yeah, I think, I think we should try to save it first, you know, like, I think it, the toe is worth trying to save. Um, but if it doesn't work, then he's going to have to get his toe amputated. But fingers crossed, y'all. Fingers crossed that this works and he doesn't have to get his toe chopped off. While I was sitting there, after I hung up the phone with the doctor, I said, yeah, okay, sounds great. Um, I'll, I'll be there at 4.30. Thank you so much. I really appreciate <laughs> This is like crazy. My animals are just, they don't want me to go anywhere today, obviously. They want me to stay home and baby them all day long. I did have on my bikini today. I was going to like, I was going to go out and just have a beach day, a boat day, just... I'll tune in with you when we pick up Frankie. And I'll give you a pup date on Elo. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Um, I just woke up from a nap a little bit ago and we are grilling. Or my mom just finished grilling some hot dogs and some toasty buns. We're trying to get in the 4th of July spirit here, um, but I also need to go pick up Frankie, and hopefully everything went well, so I will take you along with me, and fingers crossed that this weather stays good, and, you know, maybe things will mellow out a bit, and we could go watch some fireworks, so stay tuned. We're going to pick up Mr. Frankie Panky, and... <laughs> He, he's not going to be happy with us. And, um, yeah, I, I just hope it went well. We're just going to have to be very gentle. I hope he's not feisty. Happy 4th! Yeah! <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh. It's okay, Frankie. It's okay. There's my buddy. Look at your brother. Look at your brother. Were you worried about your brother? Were you worried about your brother? Hey, honey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Be gentle. Oh, baby Frankie. It's okay. What in the world is he doing? You love stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's acting like he wants to play. Frankie. Frankie, what are you doing? Look at this. So 
such a cute little bandage. So that's where his foot was injured right there. And you guys know the rest. <laughs> but Frankie, oh no. Uh-oh. He already got his thing off. Be gentle. Uh-oh. We gotta get this cone back on him. Upstairs. He should be in a room. Oh, baby. Baby. Oh my gosh. You have to stop. Come this way. Come on. Frankie. Frankie, come upstairs. and try to eat. I'll help you up. He is so full of energy. Good boy. Want a treat? Here. Oh goodness. Here. Yeah, that's my thumb. Good boy. You got one more right here. Bit my finger. Frankie. <laughs> Elo's feeling better. That's for sure. It's great news. Frankie's doing better too. I think he likes it outside. And but he's definitely still so loopy. He bit my finger. <laughs> Alright guys, so it is about sunset hour and Frankie and Elo are doing good. Frankie's sedation has started to wear off a bit and Elo's doing good. He's feeling great eating. Everything's good. So we're finally going to get to enjoy a little bit of this 4th of July and go watch some fireworks out on the water. Happy family. Hope you guys had an amazing fourth.